In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can get incredible customized YouTube intros, kind of like this one. Without a single piece of software, no After Effects, no anything. Let's get into it. Hey guys, what's up, Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So, I still get asked a question all the time on Discord, in DMs, Twitter DMs, in the comments of my YouTube videos. I'm constantly being asked, what do I do if I don't have After Effects? I really like your templates, I really want to customize my stream, I really want to customize my YouTube videos, things like that. But what do I do if I don't have After Effects? And I'm always going to recommend the sponsor of today's video, Placeit.net. I love what they're doing, their website is incredible. Incredible. They've got tons of smart templates. You can edit them, change the colors, add in your text, add in your logo, change the background music, all kinds of stuff to customize them for your YouTube videos, for your stream, and it's incredibly inexpensive. You can buy one template at a time, or you can click the link in my description and get 15% off a monthly or yearly subscription. And through that subscription, you get unlimited downloads of these templates. So you can completely redesign your Twitch stream, completely redesign your YouTube videos. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys something incredible, one of my favorite sections of place it and that is the intro creation inside of YouTube. We're also going to explore the, the website a little bit more but we're going to be talking about YouTube intros in this one because you can make stuff like this. It's incredibly easy, no software, incredibly inexpensive. Highly recommend checking out Placeit down in the description, but let's take a look at Placeit here. So we're on the Placeit website. This is what you see when you get here and you kind of want to go up to either videos or gaming. These are two of the really good ones here. So if we go down to videos, you're going to see you've got this YouTube videos tab you can click on and here you're going to get some really cool intros like this one is pretty cool. I've seen this one before and you've got this one down here. You've also got some uh, end cards down here. You've got some streams for maybe if you're streaming on YouTube but what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna come up here to videos and I'm actually gonna click on intros here and we're gonna see all these incredible intros that we can select from so let's go ahead and look for something cool the two intros that you saw at the beginning of the videos are from this little tab here this intro videos and you can see how many freaking pages they have to choose from for all these videos and it's incredibly easy to edit these templates so let's find one that is cool this one looks kind of interesting mm, oh oh that one is pretty cool, right? Actually, let's click on that one because I can show you how you can change colors. It's incredible how you can change colors. So the first thing we want to do here is we want to import our logo. So you'll see after it animates in, you've got a logo here and you've got a little upload image button here. So you can click on that and you can upload your logo. So I'm gonna do that real quick. So I've selected my logo here. I'm gonna go ahead and scale it up to adjust the cropping and we're gonna hit crop. I would normally put a white logo in here, to be honest, I would make my logo white, but right now I can't find where I've got my white logo saved. So I'm just gonna use my colored one here. And that actually looks pretty cool. The colored one could actually work really cool. So as you can see, once we add the logo in, what we can actually do is we can come over here to our particles and our lights and we can change the color. So this is like a dark orange. So I'm actually going to change it to like a dark, uh, let's go with like a dark pink because it's a darker version of my channel colors. And then for the particles, let's make this like my channel colors pink, kind of like that. For these particles, that's already like my channel color blue, uh, maybe a little bit darker. Nah, that looks pretty good actually. Transition, we'll leave that black. So as you can see, it gives you a preview. It gave you a preview of what my logo looked like in there a minute ago. And now that I'm adjusting the particles and the lights, it's showing me what the particles look like. And you can see how incredible this looks with the blue and pink particles from my channel colors. But it's just a photo that we're previewing now. Now it's time to preview the video. And the way we're gonna do that is we can hit play all down here. So we're gonna go ahead and hit play all. It's gonna go and add our logo, change the colors, change everything we changed, and put it in a already rendered video form for us to take a look at. It's incredible how quick it goes. And there we go, we've got it processed, so let's take a look at this. It is gonna be a little bit loud. Let me turn it down a little bit, so let's see what this looks like. Look at that. It matches the colors of my freaking logo. We added the colors in, changed them live, and boom, my logo pops in. That could be your YouTube intro right there. And then you can see the particles at the end of flying around. The particles are that pink color that I changed. 
That is freaking awesome. So what we can do from there is we can just download this. If you have a monthly or yearly subscription, you can do that right there and you can download it and you can do that as many times as you want with a subscription. There are so many. I've downloaded so many things off of here just to play with. It's so cool. You can buy them one at a time, but I highly recommend you sign up for a monthly subscription or something like that, a yearly subscription, and you just play around and rebrand your entire stream. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other intros here. Let's go to like page 26. I've never been this deep into the pages and see what they have. They've got some really abstract stuff, so you're probably going to be able to find something that you like. What do we got here? This one looks kind of cool. So let's take a look at a couple more of these here. This one's really cool. This would be cool for a Sea of Thieves intro. This right here would be awesome for a Sea of the... Oh, that was like, for... That's like Fortnite. That was cool. That was like a Fortnite one. Oh, we got a football one here. I don't know if you're playing Madden, something like that. There's literally all kinds of stuff. Audio-based one, that's really cool. You can get so many different kinds of intros. I highly recommend you just dive through the massive amount, the 27 pages, I think it is, 27 pages that you want. You can even request, I just now saw this, you can request new content and whatnot that you want if you want a very specific kind of intro. That'd be kind of cool to look into at some point. Um, but a couple other things that I just wanted to show you guys on this website that's really cool. If we go to gaming, you can look at all the YouTube stuff they have here. They've got YouTube banners. So let's see the banners here. Look at all these. These are pre-made banners that you can do. They're really cool gaming banners, and they're set for the YouTube sizes, so you can just change all this stuff. So let's say we're going to go to this one right here. If you're a racing channel, you've got a really cool logo here. Look at that. We immediately updated the colors to my channel colors just like that, and there's a YouTube banner you could throw in there. Another really cool thing is the YouTube thumbnail feature. If you don't like making thumbnails, if you don't have Photoshop, you just released a cool gaming video, like a Call of Duty video, and you want to uh, add a thumbnail for it, you can see you've got all kinds of stuff down here to make like Call of Duty style intros. There's some stuff for Fortnite. There's some stuff for all kinds of games. There's just some basic ones. Oh, this is Rainbow Six Siege. There you go. Rainbow Six Siege um, thumbnail. Let's go back and take a look at a couple more. Let's see. Let's go to page three here and see what they got. Animal Crossing stuff. I'm guessing this is what, yeah, I'm guessing this is Animal Crossing stuff. They've got all kinds of things. They've got just basic video game ones. There's so many thumbnails to choose from. You could run your entire freaking YouTube channel using just the stuff off of Playset, and that's why I highly recommend either a monthly or yearly subscription. Instead of just buying one of these at a time, you can have this subscription and come in here and download something anytime you need it for one of your videos. It is an incredible piece of software, and I highly recommend it. You can download things so fast, so check out the link in the the description for place it. Net. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I get questions all the time about how to make glitch intros, how to make this kind of intro. Can you make an intro that does this? Can you make an intro that does this? Head on over to Placeit, see if the intro you want is there, and I promise it is so easy to throw your stuff in there. If you want a glitch intro, look at this one right here. This is the intro you want. Everyone's asking for glitch intros, glitch this, glitch that. Go to Placeit, they've got it for you. I promise, use the link in the description to get 15% off. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Enjoy searching through their thousands and thousands of templates. And I will see you guys in the next video.